Nope, you're still fun-sized. How's it floating, space mates? Welcome aboard the Starship Infinix Flare. It's me and we back here with Dragon Quest XI. Last time we left off, Veronica joined us, this little wee bay here, and we're supposed to go find her, her sister. So the story is, let me whack these snails because they look like new enemies. Is she in a party? Draw drones. Uh, draw drones. Okay, she's in a party, but we can't control her, so that's fine. So the last time we left off, uh, apparently she said she got kidnapped while she was in a sauna in Hotto. Uh, then, but she managed to escape. But apparently her sister did not find out. So her sister went to rescue her instead, even though she's escaped. So now we're supposed to rescue, go rescue her sister, I guess. Did that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So according to the map, uh, we're supposed to go to the cryptic crypt, but actually Mount Puji is in the way. Not say in the way, but uh, on the way. So I'm going to try and see if there's anything going on there. We're going to avoid the enemies. It's night time. You guys can see me because of night blindness, I think. Haha. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. This might help us complete the little side quest. We're supposed to gather some iron ores. No, no, no. Give me iron ore. Give me iron ore. Last one, give me iron ore. All right. That might be enough to help us finish our quest. Uh, there's a little island over there. Little, but we can't cross right now for some strange reason. It's blocked off, mate! Also, we can't go this way. Because the hot water is too deep for us. So, um, there's also a little piece of land over there we can't get as well. Maybe we gotta lower the, the levels of the water levels to be able to traverse that area. Okay, so this is the entrance to Mount Fuji, not to be confused with Mount Fuji. We might get blocked off. Oh, look, it's a giant bear. Okay, the bear wakes up and is obviously blocking our path. Is he gonna come towards us? We can go this way. Kind of. I see a red mark, which means, yep, we're blocked off. Oh, no, it's this door. Okay. Yeah, obviously we're not supposed to come here first. And the giant bear, I would assume, is several, several levels above us. <laughs> Gotta run before he sees us. Also, the map, uh, the mountain gate, it's a red cross. Not a red cross, but a red mark. So, gonna assume that the door or whatever, the gates, can be open right now. La di da! Let's go to the cryptic crypt then. Before that, there is a. There is a campsite so we can rest up. Okay, I'm gonna kill some enemies and then I'll be right back. Awesome, alright. Am I heading the right way? Is this little path here? Okay, so as you can see, my characters are level 12 now. I gain one level, grind up for one more level. Just to, you know, be on the safe side, I guess, if you wanna call that. Because I don't know how strong the enemies are here. Oh my god, is that a real wolf? Touch it, but let's see what it is. Oh, it's not. It's two completely new enemies. Lump wizard. Oh. My hair is looking rubbish. It's a lumpy wizard. It's a walking corpse. Ew, don't poison Eric. Oh yeah, that's what you get for trying to poison me. You get paralyzed instead because of my poison morph knife. This is good. Strike it. Not let it move. The lumpy wizard looks looked gross. I hope I don't run into more of it. Oh, there seems to be more if you go southwards. Oh, checkpoint. Like a game checkpoint? <laughs> If you go southwards to the Galapolis region, seems like you'll meet more of those icky stuff. 
Unfortunately, fortunately, we are not. We are going north for the time being. Let us forge some stuff. Happy, happy, fun time. So, yeah, level up. So, whenever you level up, you level up at a forge as well. Lightning Bash. Aha, that's cool. You don't, you don't like, um. It doesn't take up ability points or something to use bashes, so it's kind of cool. You can use it unlimited amount of times. The flourishes, I mean. So we have this. Do we have a new hat? We don't. I kind of forgot what we can make. No, it's just armor. All right, bronze armor. Let's do it. Make some new equipment for Infi. So, uh, yeah, like I said, flourishes. Oh, oops. Actually, it does. It costs focus. But I guess the focus is only for... This bash? Oh, bash actually costs focus as well, huh? I was wrong about that. I thought they were like unlimited. So let's, let's give it a go. That was lucky. Alright. Uh, wow. Luckily, it didn't go out of range. Let's see if we can use lightning bashes. Nice. Alright, we have enough for one more. Ooh, right. Let's appraise this. This should turn out to be good. Really well, not brilliant. Fine, we'll get a plus two bronze armor then. Ah, so actually the whole thing... The whole thing costs focus. That didn't... That don't look bronze. That looks more... Um, Aqua-ish. Or blue-ish. So there's a ring we can do. I didn't see what... What, how, what, what kind of stats it, it improved for us. Well, anyway, let's see. Um, let's try using a lightning bash. Uh, that's nice. That's nice. That's really nice. The main aim of doing this is to do it for the the guy in back in Hotel, though. Not sure if we'll get it back after we present it to him. If I remember correctly, let me check the quest guide. Get out of the way, thing. Notification so I can see my menu. Okay, you have made a gold ring plus one or better. I got that, so that's fine. Let's talk to our party members before we turn in for the night. How did the monsters break through into the bathhouse and kidnap them anyway? It seemed like a pretty safe place. I get shy pox even while talking to my own party members. Yeah, so far, she hasn't really done anything except normal attack the enemies. Ooh, bronze shield. I'm not gonna buy that yet, I think money is quite important, quite hard to come by in this game. And we might find better equipment in the upcoming dungeon. So let's not do that. Let us equip, equip, uh, where's our bronze armor? Yeah. And we can turn it for the night. Although we can uh, save first, I guess. Let's move on to the cryptic crypt. Again, I might not talk too much. You know I ramble on, but I might not talk too much because of my foot. Although I did put a ice pack on it uh, a few minutes ago. Am I saying it right? A few minutes ago, I, I did put an ice pack on it. And it feels a bit better now. Thanks for asking. <laughs> like anyone can ask me through time itself. 
Like when I'm recording now, how can anyone ask me? Unless you're right beside me, which is kind of scary. Oh look, it's all the lumpy wizards. They're in the way, jeez. There's also this uh, locked door that we can't open right now. That's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna ignore all of them and move on to the dungeon. I wonder how long it's gonna be. Oh, it's kind of scary. Veronica did say it's an underground labyrinth. Hopefully we don't get lost inside. And we have the upgraded versions of Drakies. We have green bats. Oh no, it turned around and touched me before I can smack it. Drak mages. That's a lot of them. That's not good. That's not good. I think uh, Veronica should have unlimited HP right now. So if they keep attacking her, everything shall be fine. No, stop attacking Infi, please. Can I kill all of them? Nope, apparently not. Oh, Veronica, please cast some spells or something. You have that staff not just for show, right? So far, she's really not doing anything except, yeah, attack. Veronica wins again. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Be more useful than just simply attacking. That's what we are here for. Oh, we got some. We got a different colored snails this time. That's a lot of iron ore. All right. Oh my god! I'm misjudging the distances so badly. That's nice though. We sneaked up behind them, so they we probably have an extra turn. Oh, my God! Pow wow to the face. Who else wants some? <laughs> what is that thing over there? This is creepy. It reminds me of those uh, marionettes that I have, the wooden ones uh, that you can pose to help you with your drawings. It's mostly used for mud mannequin. It's mostly used for posing, putting them in certain poses so you can draw the human ana anatomy more accurately. But it seems like these, these ones are made out of mud. Mud in your face, pal. Which way shall we go? Oh god, there's a Mercedes Benz in front over there. Seems like there's a way down, so uh, I'm gonna assume the way down is... What? Come on, man. I, I guess the treasure chest was put there to lure enemies, but I didn't even notice it. I just turned around the corner and dashed straight ahead. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm guessing... Okay, fine. The... The stairs down is probably for these instances. Where you fall into a pit and then you have to make your way up again. I almost ran into that drag mage. Oh god, I almost ran into this guy as well. Nothing here? Huh. Okay. I should fight some enemies though. So that I can level up more. See if I'm right about this. Yep. So this is purely just some way of uh, letting you get back up to this level again. Although that was a locked door, so uh, this thing is probably gonna fall. Maybe I can't run across. Maybe I can't dash across. I need to like, whoa, whoa, whoa! I need to slowly walk across. I'm gonna try that if I spot s a similar flooring later on. Yeah, the, 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 there's a locked door in the basement. It might be the the way forward, story-wise. Can I still drop down? I think I can, right? Yeah, I think I can still drop down, so... Best not waste our time going this way.
There's a vine here. So maybe I have to use the leaf on the vine. Or maybe not, I just need to touch it. Is it gonna give me a history lesson again? There should be a way to identify that the floor is a trap. Is it the rubble? Or is it... Because uh, the second trap that I activated, I thought that the flooring... The colour of the flooring looked a bit off. But I'm assuming that... Oh my god. Down here we go again. Oh, we are, we're behind the locked door now. Cool. Oh my god, what is that? Might be harder enemies. Is that a way to go up? Ah, so it's to, we have to find a monster we can ride to go up. Clever. I'm gonna explore this place a bit more to see if there's anything. Fake wall, hiya! Okay, no. Ah, that's a shiny thing we can kill. Let's kill it. And then we can ride it. I have no idea what that even is. Skull Rider. Okay, cuz... Well, it'll be more appropriate if it's Skeleton Rider, cuz it's not riding just a skull. And what is the thing on it? Um, what, what is it anyway? It looks like it wants to be a ninja? Kind of? Get your orb out of my way, Veronica. And the thing it's riding, it's like, it's got two horns. Oh my god, it's got Flame Slash. Huh. It's got two horns. What kind of what kind of creature dust. would that be? If it had flesh, I can ride its steed. Yes, let's go. Woohoo! Gallop boy, gallop! Alright. Can you climb up all the walls or can you just climb up walls that Okay, you can only climb up walls. What the hell? Yeah, door unlocked. You can probably only climb up walls that are indicated with the prints. What's this? Huh, okay. Nice hint. A bit hard to see. I might not have even spotted it. Alright, coolio. Hope this is not a trap. Okay, because there was debris here. Let's see where else we can go. Hmm. Say so, so the bottom path. There's nothing much at the bottom anymore. So we probably have to get past the locks at the top. I think. So I'm on the skeleton and where are we again? We are exploring. We are exploring the rest of the dungeon. We oh my god, they're all glowing. No! No, god damn it! I don't want to keep having to climb out of this place it's tedious man it's so freaking tedious where is the climbing spot here we go well, I guess this is a series of exploration let's play so don't don't hurt to don't hurt me no more, I think I'm going to fall down here again. Oh, fuck this shit! They should give us like a mechanic to be able to... Um... To escape, or I mean, at, at least dodge the falling... Falling floor. So yep, showing you guys... Every single nook and cranny... 
of this god dang dungeon. Dang nabbit. Maybe you can like extrapolate uh, where are the folly folly bits with the map down below. If, there, if there's like no corresponding area down below then then yeah um you get to walk along that pathway with no consequences are they gonna run for me are they oh maybe they just like think i'm i'm part of the crew part of the crew part of the ship part of the ship part of the crew because i'm riding a a skull skeleton thingy as well so they think i'm i'm one of them the zombie did run away from me, so I don't know about that. Where have we, else have we not explored? Oh, oh, oh yeah, this is the first treasure chest you see that you get dropped down on. Oh, robber gloves, not rubber gloves. What's that do? Is that a accessory? Boost the deafness of the wearer. Obviously, this is a good thing for Eric. So let's do it. Let's not use the uh, beginner-friendly items anymore. You know what? I'm gonna give... I'm gonna trade this. I'm gonna give the strength ring to Infi. So he's more like a typical damage dealer. Swordsman. And Eric is the roguish, charming bandit. So we've kind of explored all these places already, I think. Too bad there ain't no... What do you call it? Ain't no... Uh, markings on the map. That are for treasure chests. Oh dear. I did not notice this. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you notice I'm actually avoiding most of the enemies. Because I'm lazy to fight them. But I, I really should. Maybe, I, maybe I'll hit the church. I'll hit the church and then grind a bit to the next level. And then, like they like to say, Bob's your uncle. Yeah. I think I'll hit the church first and then fight the monsters. Although the church doesn't guarantee me healing, so I don't know why that's my idea. Let's see, there's only one pathway here, so it shouldn't fall down. Unless it's a trick! A trickity trick. Oh my. To be hidden away down here. Does it heal us? Uh, wait, over there! It's my sister! Oh, it is. I assume she had blonde hair. Oh my god, turns around, it's a skeleton. your sister she has a skull for her face we said we'd always be there for each other didn't we well I'm here for you now so pull yourself together why don't you like flip her around <sighs> oh my god was she sleeping inside here <laughs> oh I'm ever so sorry it's just I well, I was so well, I guess tired that isn't that actually a bad idea because they and... said before that um, the goddess statue actually drives away all the monsters from the area, so it's quite safe to take a nap here. Veronica, it, is that really you? What in the world has happened to you? But how did you know it was me? <laughs> We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to yes, fool This me. is actually a hint. Because if you guys remember at the start of the... At the start of the game, what do you oh, call it? The yes, opening cutscene. Veronica is looks like much that? older. I, she's like bigger I, size. She's well, She looks would, almost like Serena. You know. <laughs> but for some reason, she's been turned into a kid. Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister? Well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. Oh, no wonder she looks... No wonder the two girls in the cutscene look the same. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. Tell us, I want to know I why you look like a kid now. Monsters, didn't I? The 
they've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well, so your magical powers is tight. Without putting up a fight. The more I resisted, the, the younger I, I got. The younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my age. Okay. <sighs> what I'm That's a weird concept, but is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like one. I think you might have ties with you know okay, when we get it. We when get it. when we You're got transported to the past when we went back to cobblestone. Like Don't you want to do something about it? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. But if any indication we get from um, trailers and videos, obviously this you is not going to help because she's going to stay you? in her kid form I promise for a to while. Do my bit as well. I have some really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. Are you going to join my party permanently? Or are you just going to be... Okay. Well, you're, you're not... Permanently in my party yet, but I think we can party top here. <laughs> Did you want to talk to me? Hey! Hmm. <laughs> well, for some reason we we are awfully calm and friendly about meeting two strangers. Strange girls. Oh, it, it, yes, it heals! Nice! I'm gonna do a quick save here. Well, not technically not a quick save, but a save, but I'll save quickly. As quickly as I can, with the jingle having to be played. And then I'm gonna grind a bit to level 13. Do you plan to- yes, I plan to continue. I keep getting thrown off by this all the time. So, uh, right now, as you can see from the bottom right corner, I'm level 12. I'm gonna grind up to level 13 and then continue on the adventure. There's a vine in front, but I'm not gonna trigger it yet because it's probably some story-related event. Let's go, boy! And by boy, I mean the skeleton! Okay, guys, I'm back with... Level 13 characters, and we're gonna move on. We're gonna... Before this, you're gonna see a montage of me using <laughs> the mount to bum rush enemies. Anyway, let's check out this vine that is poised right here. Touch it, yes. Touch it, addiction. Oh, this, the mount is like waiting there nicely for me. I'm assuming we're gonna fight these weird bat shape demons later on. You need a password to get through here. So we're gonna have to use the word Umbra Kdumbra to get through. Yeah, baby! Oh yeah, oh my god. Holy crap, what the heck is that? Are you potty? Okay, this is Avengers like confirmed. Oh, you know, the you. lair of Tony Stark, Iron Man, because there's a Jarvis here. Ooh, this Jars. Do you crackpots think sorcerer like Veronica come along often? Okay, even, even though the bat demon in the vision seemed quite like mild mannered. To put it that way, they, they seem to be bad guys. Oh my god. This lizard's got tits. <laughs> He's also got a weird mark on his stomach. It kind of looks like the luminary mark. That's them. They're 
the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here. <laughs> See that jar by the big fat one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. So we just gotta smash it. It's a pot. Then I guess we better Urge to, out how to get smash them back. pot rising. Oh no, we're getting snuck up upon. Watch Get out! Huh? Ah! <laughs> the face. Oh shit. You have been discovered. Well, if we give her to you, are you gonna let us go? Oops, I'll cut him off. Looks like we'll be fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not. Stop posturing in front of me, man. God damn it. Your belly is huge. And okay, Jarvis and his friends. Shit, I wasn't I was hoping it wouldn't be the case. There's four enemies. Um Okay, this might be tricky. And uh, I'm just gonna stick him on, mix it up. Because I, I put him on, I put everyone on don't use MP because I was auto auto battling or grinding. Alright, let's go. Put him to sleep, put him to sleep. Damn it! All right. First, we're gonna use AOE spells to thin out the herd. Okay. So for Sis, apparently it it says it singes a group of enemies, so you can only target enemies that are of the same type or same same kind of enemy. So in this case, if I target Jarvis, apparently it won't hit the shadows as well. So I'm gonna thin out the herd. Start roasting them. Oh shit! Don't sleep. Don't sleep. And please, please, yes, attack Veronica and Serena because I think they have infinite HP and MP. Oh my god, Veronica. Oh yeah, during the whole grinding, Veronica did not use a single spell at all. Whilst, well, Serena, you can see she's already starting to cast buff and she also casts heal as well. I don't know why... Okay, maybe Veronica isn't using any spells because of the story. Because she said... She said her, her her magic power's been drained. Maybe that's why she hasn't been using spells. That would actually make sense. I would accept that as as as, as a law. Yes, please keep attacking them. No, no, this is gonna be an AOE attack, right? Come on, come on, kill the shadows. They're nowhere near death, judging by the colors of their name. Here we go, AOE. Oh, ouch. We're okay, we're okay. We still have half our health left. And Serena can heal us. Alright, using using Sis will no longer be good, because... There's only one of the shadow left. <laughs> he sounded like he's moaning when he got hit. Oh, ouch. Yes, yes, free heals. Gotta take advantage of the free heals while Serena is still not a party member yet. Maybe we can defend him. Okay, I'm gonna use Dragon Slash. I'm, no I'm not sure if this guy is actually a dragon. He does look like a dragon. Like, they... They're like all reptiles, so he might belong to the same family. Same family. He's gonna do his cold breath. I think we should be fine. Let's keep at it with more dragon slashes. There should be some way of, you know, um, analyzing enemy stats and seeing their type as well. I don't think Eric has the move, right? Ah, you're weak. You only hit me for one damage with your normal attack. 
Uh, I'm gonna put Eric on follow orders for now so I can see what he has. No, he doesn't have anything that... He doesn't have anything that, like, does a... How do you call it? Um, um, does a... Enemy stat analyzing. Enemy... Yeah, stats analyzing move. Might as well use this. Power of Pep. Power of Pepe the Frog. Oh, so it's a super powerful version of Rubble Rouser. Nice timing. Let's, uh... Wait, oh. Right, maybe because I need Eric pepped up at the same time. Damn it. Haha! <laughs> the fat lizard is defeated. Fat lizard is killed. Another one bites the dust. Oh, I'll never be your Lord of Shadows, right hand man. Seems it's like he's actually not dead. Beat the likes of but just defeated. All my dreams shattered. Oh, maybe he's gonna die. These are like his dying words. Who is this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough when everything finally goes to pot. <sighs> Nobody questioned about the mark on his belly? We'll find out soon enough. It's like huh? a big enough hint, I think. Right, time to get my magic back. Huh? And then she turns into the duck spawn. Oh. Oh. I hope this works. Nope, you're still fun-sized. You look just the same. We're all our efforts for nothing. You know, the funny thing is, um, as, as they drain her age, did they drain her clothes age as well? Because it kind of fits her perfectly, you know? <laughs> or maybe she found clothes that fit her. So was she wandering around naked? Well, at least she got her magic no back. No need to worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. But then why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice. Trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. By the way, you have noticed who we're traveling with, haven't you? Of course I have. And so have you, it seems. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Chosen, long have we waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. 
the light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea. It proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now, if I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere. All right. Uh, we got Brett Winner and Yggdrasil so Chosen, the two twins of Arborea. We have defeated the boss. Before we go rescue whoever's left, let's pick up some random crap that's lying around here. What are we gonna find? We're gonna find treasure chest. Reward us for defeating the boss. I'm still riding the skeleton thing. It's funny. Can we take this giant uh, veil, vial back? Oh, it's hot smashing. I can't do that while mounted? Oh well. Time for me to... Uh, cast you aside, bro. Grumpy Eeyu, what the heck is that? I don't think we need a mount anymore anyway. It's probably for just that section of the dungeon. Where you fall down and die. No, you don't really die. What were they making here? Okay, it reminds me of the purple stuff from the Power Rangers movie, Ivan Ooze. Making more of his minions. So, it seems like they were making something in this part of the dungeon. We have no idea what it is. We just have to go on and see if we can rescue any more people. Gosh, look at all these cells. What a horrid place. Oh. Hey, who's there? You're safe now. We took care of that potty old fat head and his cronies. Thanks. I owe you one. I was starting to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me instead. You were starting to worry? And what about your poor little daughter all on her own, hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Wait, you know Connie? We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. The owner of the bar back in town is looking after her. He's a mature, responsible adult, you see. Oh, listen, I appreciate your help, really, I do. I'm Noah, by the way. If there's anything I can do to repay you, just say the word. Noah, huh? Where have I heard that name before? Uh, oh, look, I've taken up enough of your time. I should, uh, get back and see how, uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. Something suspicious about this guy. You left in rather a hurry? I don't trust him. Again. Very fishy. Well, never mind. We should head back too. We deserve a rest. Oh, cool. It automatically transports me back to Huddle, which is cool. I like that. It's it's those little quality of life mechanics that, that makes the game better. Alright, we are back in Hodo. We have cleared the cryptic crypt, and I think that's enough for one episode. I've already searched these places, right? Okay, so we're gonna find out what is up with this Noah and Connie in the next episode. If you've like if you've enjoyed this video, why not leave a like and a comment down below? And if you wanna find out what happens next, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can stay updated with this series. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one, and this is Infi. Blasting off.